Ladies and gentlemen, the short game to the video, we're going to be discussing Vulcan. Now, during SIGGRAPH 2015, many developers have taken to the stage talked about Vulcan. However, one of the most vocal of those is Dan Ginsberg. And he is taking care of porting Source 2 engine to Vulcan. And he was rather brutally honest. He believes that there's not much point in creating a DirectX 12 game at all. He says that unless you're targeting a game for this year, you're best to focus on Vulcan. Vulcan is the future, those are his words. Now, the reason he says that is that Vulcan will cover you on Windows 10 on the same class of hardware and so much more from all of those other platforms and IHVs that we've all heard from. Metal, which is iOS only, is a single platform, single vendor, and Vulcan, we're going to have support for not only Windows 10, but Windows 7 and 8. We're going to have it on Android and all the IHVs are making great progress in drivers and super rapid adoption. If you're developing a game for the next generation of APIs, I think it's clear that Vulkan is the best choice. And we're really pleased with, pleased with the progress and the state of the API. And we think it's going to power the next generation of games for years to come. So I'm actually a couple of days late covering this. Um, I was originally going to turn it into a full tech video and I still will do that because SIGGRAPH is actually quite interesting. But... I also had a couple of messages asking just for my opinion on this side of things, so I figure I might as well throw my hat into the arena as it were. It's also giving me a bit of a break from benchmarking and reviewing today, which is quite nice as well. Anywho, so it's actually a very complex topic. I'm going to ignore things like, such as the performance largely for this particular video because at the end of the day neither API is 100% finished and we don't even know all of the feature sets for both APIs so I'm not going to be doing those type of comparisons at least in this video what I will be focused instead upon is you know adoption rates and what's best for us as consumers and whether I actually agree with Dan or not well first of all the API could be ported to the PlayStation 4 and this is rather important which we'll discuss in just a second but there have been some murmurs about this um, which would make sense given the PS4's API currently. So, Vulkan works, just so we're all clear, DirectX 12 is Windows 10 only. Vulkan will work across various Windows platforms, but also Linux and Android. Cross-vendor, meaning NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, blah, 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 blah. All of those hardware pieces will work on this damn thing. DirectX 12 does have an advantage right now. We're not talking about performance side here, we're talking about pure adoption and mind share of the public. The bottom line is, if you say low level API, you're probably going to think DirectX 12, or at least the average person is going to think DirectX 12, it's just how it is. Uh, that's kind of a problem for other developers. Now, obviously DirectX 12, Windows PC, or Windows 10 PC and Xbox One, Microsoft are really encouraging this because it really helps them. It means that it's going to be a lot easier to port games across their ecosystem, which is obviously a good thing for Microsoft. Now, Ginsburg is not for that. He believes that it should be, or things should be an open standard, an open platform where you can just, you know, make changes to code and everyone works together to improve things so you don't have to rely on Microsoft to make changes to DirectX 12 when there's like a bug or a problem with performance or you know, a new feature needs to be added or what have you. As I'm sure many of you are aware, Valve are backing Linux. There is a reason of course that they are doing so and one of those is SteamOS. And we all know Gabe's comments on Windows as a whole, he doesn't really like it. I'm not going to get into whether he's right or wrong on that. You know, that's his thing and a topic for a different video. But, I think one of the ways that, at least in my opinion, Vulcan could definitely take off is if Sony did further their support. They've already announced support for Vulcan, but if they did say, hey, we're going to be supporting it with the PS4, and Nintendo did maybe opt for it for the, you know, the, their own next generation system, the NX, whatever the hell it's going to be, ended up being called. That would be definitely a good positive for the API. At the end of the day, my personal opinion is, I would really like, really like 
the open standard to move forward. That's my personal opinion because I think it would be better for us as consumers and I think it would be better for developers most likely. I'm not necessarily saying hardware vendors but I probably imagine it wouldn't really impact them as much. It really impacts those who are developing the software. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're all in like a symbiotic relationship, right? If you don't buy the games, then the games companies won't put out the games, which means that the hardware vendors won't have any reason to put out new hardware. We won't buy that new hardware because, let's say, let's just, silly example, but let's just say that, you know, the original Doom, that's where gaming stopped, right? No one would be buying gaming hardware now. It's pretty simple, but it's all a symbiotic relationship now. I think it's kind of a weird, a weird mix. The, both APIs are going to be facing each other in the arena, if you will. They're going to be facing each other, up, you know, on the battlefield of the the mindshare of consumers. And without a, a, without a doubt, uh, DirectX 12 has taken several first bloods. You know, they've, they've taken first blood when it came to the, the original benchmarking, they've taken first blood in terms of, you know, everyone knows about uh, DirectX 12, and I would say that if you once again ask the average person, they're much more likely to know what DirectX 12 is compared to Vulcan. One of those reasons is that, you know, it's a completely different brand, it's a completely different name compared to like saying OpenGL, which more people would have heard of. So, from my point of view, uh, and from the point of view of maybe gamers, I would say that Vulcan is probably the better way to go. But it really depends on how everything happens. You know, what features we actually end up finally getting. It would appear that Vulcan largely will pretty much handle most of the features. We don't necessarily know about, uh, let's say, multiple graphics cards if it's going to be so well supported with, with Vulcan and. You know various other pieces bits and pieces but it's looking like uh, DirectX 12 certainly has the lead at the moment which is kind of the way forward if uh, if I'm honest Vulcans can still bring it back because at the end of the day neither API is released but I guess we can only wait I mean I personally would go with whichever API serve my better needs personally if I could say that I could game on Steam uh, sorry, on Steam OS or a Linux operating system as well, and obviously that means that the game to us well supported. That's a great thing, but the problem is most studios, let's say Electronic Arts, for the sake of argument, they're only really going to want to focus on one API, because at the end of the day, if they're creating an Xbox One version, the PlayStation 4 version, and the PC version. But the PC version has also got two different ways of being developed. It's got the DirectX 12 and it's got uh, Vulkan. That's a lot of development resources. And this is one of the problems which, uh, well, OpenGL faced originally. One of the reasons that DirectX 12, or sorry, Direct L, earlier version of the Direct, DirectX did quite well. And why we also saw 3DFX start to fade into, uh, into the twilight when obviously they were heavily relying on their own mini drivers when it came to Glide. It's a very complicated topic is basically what I'm saying. And I'm not sure which one of the two APIs will end up with the largest market share. But I'm going to guess it's going to be DirectX 12. Is that the best outcome for gamers? Probably not to be honest with you. But it is too early to make any of those judgments at the moment. However, if Sony push their weight behind it fully with the PlayStation 4, which they might do because they might say, hey, you know what, this actually helps us because we can do some porting, people are going to port, but would they want to? Maybe, if they say, you know, helped to push it towards Linux, maybe, but it, it, it's a bit tenuous. So Windows 10 and Xbox definitely are helping make a very strong ecosystem with DirectX 12. That's just my opinion though. But hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.